In today's Entertainment City, Kunis and Kutcher welcome baby number two and Rihanna's royal new bestie. Anybody else want to come and join us? When Harry met Riri, the pair have been rubbing shoulders over the last few days during the prince's stop in Rihanna's native Barbados. Their latest outing? Taking a public HIV test as part of a campaign to raise awareness and encourage others to get tested. <laughs> Yesterday, fittingly, was World AIDS Day. Oh boy, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher have welcomed their second child, a son. No name has been released yet, but we do know he was born Wednesday. Joining big sister Wyatt Isabel, who is two, the former That 70s Show co-stars have been married since last July. I just heard you play, and I want to... La La Land leads the way at this year's Critics' Choice Awards with a whopping 12 nominations. The lavish musical stars our own Ryan Gosling and reunites him with Emma Stone. They're up for Best Actor and Best Actress, while the film itself is competing in the Best Picture category. But La La Land has some tough competition. What's your, what's you looking at me like that? Son? Beautiful drama Moonlight has 10 nods, as does the thought-provoking alien invasion sci-fi flick Arrival. <laughs> The Critics' Choice Awards take place December 11th. Another film getting love from the Critics' Choice Awards, Jackie, earning six nominations, including Best Actress for star Natalie Portman. Ready? Of course. She's been earning rave reviews for her complex portrayal of Jacqueline Kennedy as she shouldered an entire nation's pain and sorrow after her husband's assassination. In part two of Terry's chat with the cast, she finds out about the pressure Portman faced in this role. What do you think were some of the risks for Natalie in playing a character that the world believes they know and understand? In some respects, she has a little more license uh, because what, what they're going to do is dismantle that picture that has been projected for so long about who Jackie is. What is that picture? The refined, composed, elegant debutante who is always camera ready and behaves and comports themselves in a dignified way. And what do we discover about Jackie? That she's a person like all of us people who had to suffer through an unimaginable trauma. I'm not the first lady. Jackie is in select theaters next Friday. Tune in then to hear Portman's own thoughts on playing Jackie and what the Kennedys meant to the world. What if you do find home and they're not even there? And you just keep searching. Another movie getting lots of buzz, Lion. It tells the amazing true story of a boy lost, then found, then found again. I can still see their faces. Terry Hart caught up with the two stars telling this story, Dev Patel and Nicole Kidman. What to you, Dev, is the story about? Is it about somebody finding themselves? Is it about family? Is it about loss? It's kind of all of those things, actually. You know, for, for me, at its core, it's a story about mothers and sons. I think it's about finding home and the need to do that, and then the power of a mother is so healing and um, I think you really see that in this film. Tune in next week for more from Patel and Kidman. I whisper in her ear, I'm here. And coming up on Monday, we're going to have a sneak peek at Terry's chat with the cast of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story.